loving memory of Kelly A. Huber. A family forever changed by a violent fall from a Colorado ski lift. I remember our Tater still does ask a lot of the questions, Tony, of why? And why does this happen? Why would happen to somebody as great as my mom? Tonight, Kelly Huber's family invites us into their Texas home to talk about that day and the void this mother's death has left. For me, one of the hardest things is, is I don't have any tools to fix their heart. And tonight you will also see for the first time photos and video from that tragic day. Good evening, I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. We're very glad you're with us tonight. Now, Kelly Huber and her two young daughters were on vacation at Ski Granby Ranch 13 months ago when they were ejected from a chairlift. I know Kelly's death was the first on a Colorado lift in 30 years, but that is no consolation for her family now trying to manage without mom. Denver 7 Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowaleski traveled to Texas to sit down with the Huber family, now ready to tell their story to Colorado. We are now a statistic, a horrible statistic. It's something he never expected. This should never happen. And if you knew about it, it should sure damn never happen. 40-year-old Kelly Huber of San Antonio passed away after falling about 25 feet. A day, a date, and a moment that forever changed this Texas family. I just remember thinking, man, I think my life just turned upside down. A memory of a December morning a little more than a year ago. That's Kelly Huber in the middle with her daughters Ashley on the left and Taylor on the right. A selfie taken at Ski Granby Ranch. I felt like, like at some point, these girls are gonna ask me, Daddy, tell me about what happened. Bill Huber invited us to spend the day with him and his daughters, Ashley and Taylor, here at their home in San Antonio. Hi. Hey. Did you have a good day at school? It was a day where all of them let us know more about Kelly, a day where they wanted to show Colorado that Yes, they're still dealing with the pain, but working every day to move forward and stay positive. You know, I think for me, though, Tony, the long-term challenge for us is really emotionally. I don't have any tools to fix their heart, and, and that's, we work on that a lot. Their hearts broken after that day at Ski Granby Ranch. Bill Huber got the news in a call from his mom. And she said, I have some really bad news. And I said, what is that? And, uh... She said that Kelly didn't make it. For the first time, we are getting a better idea of exactly what happened. This is video taken moments after Kelly, Ashley, and Taylor were ejected from chairlift 58. Someone went down to get someone. A skier in the chair behind them capturing the seconds after the Hubers were violently thrown from their chair. You can see his chair still swinging and total strangers scrambling to help. It started swinging side to side. 10-year-old Taylor has no memory of the crash. Her older sister, Ashley, has shared her recollection with her dad. Ashley uh, got very scared and shared with her mom, Mom, I'm really scared. And, uh, and Kelly told her that uh, it was gonna be okay. And it started going even more side to side. And Ashley said, she said again, Mom, I'm scared. And mom said it's going to be okay. And then they hit the tower. Kelly, Ashley, and Taylor fell about 25 feet to the icy snowpack below. Within seconds, other skiers tried to help. Then she heard them uh, scream out that uh, there's no pulse, no pulse. Um, and then, uh, then she said, Mom, it started beating on mom's chest. So, so they were uh, trying to, to keep Kelly alive. We now know skiers and emergency responders spent nearly an hour trying to revive Kelly. Later that morning, Ashley told the sergeant what happened in the moments before the fall. It came up to like one of those big poles. Mm -hmm. We hit it. So you hit the pole with the chair? Yeah. All three were rushed to a local hospital. Ashley had facial cuts from hitting the tower. Her left leg broken in three spots. 
Taylor had seven broken bones and two organs that were not properly functioning. Their mom, Kelly, died from the blunt trauma, the coroner finding a torn aorta. Her death caused from that 25-foot fall. She was an amazing woman in so many different levels and really, you know, the world has lost one of our better ones and, uh, and we miss her every day. I miss her every day. The girls, we talk about her every day. We planted the tree and uh, really in remembrance to her, it's actually her favorite tree. A Colorado ski tragedy forever changing and challenging a Texas family. A family now working to always remember loving memory of Kelly A. Huber, Mother's Day 2017. While trying to heal and rebuild. Uh, this is the cards that were dealt and this is our new life. At the very least, let's try and make it as enjoyable and as positive and as you know, rewarding as we can moving forward. Oh, and Tony says the Huber family wanted to share a message with all of us here in Colorado they still love our state and they plan to vacation here again. The state investigated this for several months and they found that a newly installed electronic drive right behind the lift failed. Mm, I wish them well.